Welcome back. Two scholars from Ottawa received a prestigious academic award today. The federal government announced this year's Vanier Canada Graduate Scholarships and Banting Postdoctoral Fellowships. The event was held at Carleton University, awarding students both at that university and at the University of Ottawa. I spoke with two of the winners earlier today. Alicia, first of all, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So give us a snapshot of what you're working on and how it touches upon shyness. Yeah, so I mean, the transition back to in-person learning has been challenging for all of us in university, but maybe especially so for shy students who are known to struggle to enter and navigate social situations, um, academic communication, which is like engagement with your peers, your teachers, your professors, your TAs, is pivotal in um, impacting your academic performance and your overall adjustment to the university setting. So we haven't researched a lot on um, academic experiences of shy university students, but we do know a lot about um, how shy children are functioning at school and the answer is not great. So based, uh, based on like what we know, uh, there's reason to believe that shy university students may be struggling in class to participate, to reach out for help, and this may then uh, leave them at an academic disadvantage. So basically, I just want to look over time at the associations between shyness and academic adjustment in university and figure out not only whether shyness is uh, a risk factor for poor academic functioning, but also if so, why. And so you've got a significant amount of money for the next three years to study this. This must give you a lot of sort of take a lot of pressure off of your shoulders into looking into this research. Who do you imagine this will benefit going down the road specifically? Like, is it, I know you were talking about more boys than girls. Uh, who, who's going to benefit from this research? Yeah, my hope is that, um, I mean, shy students in general will benefit. Uh, I mean, we, I would love to be able to uh, participate in the development of interventions to help foster positive academic communication among shy students. There is some research uh, with children to suggest that shy boys do struggle more academically than shy girls so if we can replicate those same findings with uh, older university samples then shy boys may be particularly likely to benefit from interventions. Is, is there a personal link here between your interest in, in researching shyness and, and, uh, and, and, and something in your personal life? You know what I think it's funny because shyness is a relatively stable trait over time I would say that I used to be maybe more shy as maybe a teenager in my early 20s and over time I don't know what happened I've become a little bit more extroverted um, but yeah that is a little bit maybe part of the reason that originally got me interested in this back when I was in my undergrad which feels like forever ago. If, if students who are shy don't get that kind of fit in their education what do we miss out on as a society or what are we potentially missing out on in terms of uh, education if, if those students don't get accommodated? Yeah, so research shows that temperament, environment, goodness of fit is huge. When there's a lack of fit between student temperament and classroom environment, academics tend to suffer. Uh, as well, there are a ton of long-term negative implications of poor academic adjustment in university, um, poor well-being long-term, poor health outcomes, uh, people are making less money over time. So really, it, it ends up impacting people long-term uh, if there is that kind of lack of fit between um, shy students' temperament and uh, what the classroom is offering them. And finally, when will we see uh, the results of your research? Um, it's a two-year longitudinal study, so hopefully uh, I've started some pilot testing. I've developed a course selection preference questionnaire for shy students, and we've pilot tested that, so hopefully within the next 2.5 to 3 years. Okay. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you so much.